Hi YouTubers, in this video I'm going to show you how to relatively safely put together two large neodymium magnets with a spacer in between, without having magnets and shrapnel flying around. So, what do you need? Well, I recommend that you use thick gloves. The thicker, the better. Wearing gloves will not prevent your fingers from being crossed if they are caught between the magnets in an accident, but they might make it easier to get your fingers unstuck again. Next you will need a security board. This is just a wooden plate with some metal plates glued to the bottom half. You will also need what I call a locking board. It's just a wooden board with a hole in it. The diameter of the hole should be the same as that of the magnets. And the height of the board should be the same as the magnet plus the spacer. Next in line we have a large wedge. The width of the wedge should be the same as the diameter of the magnet or even larger. Last but not least, wear safety glasses. If the magnets accidentally smash together, they could shatter a chip sending very sharp fragments all around. Personally, I prefer a complete face shield with these larger magnets. Okay, after you have collected all of the necessary equipment, you need to clear your work area. Remove all metals. This includes the keys in your pocket, your wristwatch and your mobile phone. Also be aware of lamps, radiators and metal in the table that could interfere with your work. And now for the part that you have been waiting for. Let's combine the magnets and see if I can do it without hurting myself or chipping the magnets. First, place the security board on your work area with the metal plates facing downwards and away from you. Next, put one magnet on the board with its north pole facing upwards and let it slide into secure position over the metal plates. If you don't know the polarities of your magnets, I will show you how to determine it in an upcoming video. Now place the locking board over the magnet and put your spacer on top of the magnet. If you think the next step is to put the other magnet with the north pole facing upwards and sliding over the spacer, you would be completely wrong. If you thought that, you are not ready to handle large neodymium magnets yet. Let me show you why. Here I have, somewhat simplified, drawn in green color two of the magnetic field lines from the first magnet. Notice the direction of the magnetic field indicated with arrows. If you put the second magnet in this magnetic field with its north pole pointing upwards, it will act like a compass and try to turn around with large force. This is an uncontrollable position to combine the magnets from. Instead you need to put the wedge over the spacer and guide the second magnet in from far above, again with its north pole facing upwards. Hold the magnet and wedge firmly and make sure your fingers are not between the two magnets. If you feel resistance in the second magnet, your polarity is wrong. Abort immediately by lifting the second magnet straight up and turn it 180 degrees around before trying again. Now slide the wedge slowly away, making sure that the wedge and second magnet are aligned directly over the spacer. The force needed will be higher and higher, with the magnets coming closer and closer. Adjust the second magnet so it's centered over the hole in the locking board. Lift off the locking board and slide the magnets from the security board by pushing on the lower magnet. Do not push on the spacer or the upper magnet. Well, that's it! In an upcoming video I'm going to show you how to take them apart again.